Welcome to Of Chavrim. I'm Stephen Benun. You're watching Israeli News Live. Just wanted to give you a quick little uh, uh, brief news here this morning before we go into other broadcasts today. Uh, this here is breaking. U.S. government says its hackers have penetrated Russian communications network, electricity grids, and Kremlin's command system. Uh, that is. I can also verify some of this information, such as on the antiwar.com, U.S. threatens military hacks on Russia's electric communications grids over election. Uh, Pen Pentagon preparing for massive election day hacking offensive. Uh, the U.S. has publicly threatened retaliatory hacks against Russia for weeks now based on allegations that Russia may have been involved in certain hackers related to the Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton. Now, as we already know, <coughs> this has been something that Joe Biden was, uh, has stated and said that they would do this at their timing and at their convenience. Besides the fact that already we see from uh, Steve Pachesnik that this is all false, that they're doing a quote-unquote soft coup in the background in order to expose Hillary and that had nothing to do with Russia. You can't help but wonder, is this really a power struggle from within the administration against those from the other side? But it, it, it clearly is an elite scheme from the very beginning. And this is something we're going to try to unravel for you a little bit later today. This is an elite scheme. It doesn't matter which one gets elected. Even Steve, he is part uh, part of his background in psychology, psychology warfare, reg regime change as well, is another thing he specializes in. So, which, which, what does it really matter if it's Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton? Of course, we look at this from our basic way of thinking. It's the lesser of two evils, but it's still evil. It's still a New World Order agenda, no matter which way you look at it. It's the New World Order agenda. But what are they trying to do with this? And this is what we're going to go in a little bit later today. I want to bring you some facts on this. They want to get the nation to riot. I have a feeling they're going to do something to Russia to provoke Russia. They're going to cause rioting by maybe even Hillary getting elected, even though Donald Trump wins, in order to get the people to riot. But maybe they got a counter thing as well. So if Donald Trump gets elected, the Hillary supporters will go all ballistic and they will riot. Remember what I have told you guys now for four year, three or four years now. Forget exactly when I begin to tell you this. I was in Washington, D.C. I was with one of uh, Obama's own inside people, inside his administration there, in a private meeting with him there in Washington, D.C. a few years ago. And this man here has worked not only under Obama, but under President George Bush before him. And he told me that they are trying to get the nation to rise up and to fight with each other. He said to me, we have the ability to project thoughts in the human mind. He said, you can even see this on the internet now. He says, but we have a greater ability than what you see there. And he said, we use this technology with the man that we see in Egypt that gets all depressed, goes out, pours gasoline on himself, sets himself on fire and causes the Arab Spring. He said, we tried it in Washington. Now, he was not for this, by, by the way. He was very much against it. But he was trying to leak the information that the world would know what the administration, what the elites are trying to do. You know, the presidents are only the puppets for the elite. So it doesn't matter which one they get in. They just get their fame and popularity. You know, they're not 10 minutes of fame, but four or eight years of fame instead of popularity and fame and, of course, wealth to go with it. It's the elites that never change. It's people like Kissinger that never changes or Soros that never changes. These men stay at the top no matter what. And we're just being played in all of this. But he told me then that when the man that burned himself alive, the black man that burned himself alive at the Washington Mall in D.C., they had projected that thought. Even the woman that rammed the gate of Washington, uh, the, 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 uh, the White House, and was shot and killed, he said it didn't create the reaction. He said Americans will not rise up like they did in the Middle East where they created the Arab Spring, which has served their purpose. But they're still at it. They're still doing it. 
And even this, this thing about, oh, the soft coup. You know why they're doing that? It's a psychological message to the American public to get you to say, oh, the soft coup didn't work. Let's take up our guns and go to the streets. That's what they want you to do. Don't fall into the scheme that they're playing. Do you know from the very information that was shared to me in Washington, D.C., from the Obama administration, a guy that exposed what was going on to me privately. If you don't rise up, if you don't go to the street, if you don't take your guns and you don't do what they want you to do, they lose once again. It doesn't matter who becomes president as far as that regards. Everybody, Donald Trump has been projected as the world's savior. He's not. But if Hillary Clinton were to get in, believe me, that would cause a lot of rioting, no doubt. That's exactly what they want you to do. You know the, the uh, group, and I'll go into this later tonight, but the group that they have there that, that formed this militia, um, I forget the name of it, the 32nd Militia, whatever the case may be. I have been seeing this man that created this guy, I've been seeing him pop up with journalists and different groups from all over the world, even in the Middle East. He's the number one. They leave him at the top on their page. Why? They know something's coming. And it's almost as if they want the world to know. See, we knew all along. Don't get involved. Now they're planning on hacking. Russia's communications grids, what do they want to do that for? And maybe that's the Obama, maybe, that's a, maybe it is a power struggle even inside the elite circle. Who gets to be in there? Or are they just playing both sides? Are they playing you and they're playing me? So that we go against each other. And don't worry, when the time comes, they get everybody to react like idiots in America and go out and shoot each other and kill each other. If that doesn't work, they'll stage some kind of, a, of attack on the election day as they're saying now, oh, there's a big threat. There's going to be another 9-11. Well, there probably will be. Believe me, they've got people paid to do it. Be sure to blame Russia, though, while you're at it. Don't worry, Russia will play right along with it as well. It is a new world order scheme, and we are at the very tip of the spear of this. We are now here. The only ones that can stop it is us. Your non-reaction, I don't care about the vote part. You want to vote, you can vote. That's not going to change anything. Not reacting the way they're trying to get you to psychologically react is the only thing that's going to change it. And believe me, even in the alternative media realms, they have agents working as well over time to make sure you react. They're saying it's a soft coup. We're not doing this with guns. They want you to be the idiots to do it with guns. I would stay home on election day. I wouldn't even go out in the public. Remember, as, as I was told right there from the inside the Obama administration, they have the ability to project these thoughts into your minds. Now, by the way, at the time when I was there, I still owned a business in the United States. I had a guy that worked for me that was, had just come out of the military. That was his specialty. He said, we have technology, Steve. He said, I'm sworn to secrecy, but all I can tell you is we have technology that we use in warfare we can even on the battlefield project thoughts into the minds of those that we are fighting. And he said, yeah, what the guy told you that you heard in D.C., he said, he's right. So if you're out there on the street even protesting peacefully, and the next thing you know, you got a stupid thought that comes in your mind, beat the guy beside you, smack this one over here, shoot that one over there, believe me, they'll control your mind. I'd stay home. I'd turn the TV off and unplug the internet so they can't project it there either because that's another way they can do it. That's something I just got from my, a source of mine now that even your Wi-Fi router, they're able to do it with that. Maybe just plug your computer directly into the wall and throw the Wi-Fi router out in the garbage. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Stay informed. Stay alert. 
is coming down to a head.